what exactly is thyroid what does it do as an endocrinology what do we do to manage uh, this thyroid and its problem and so the thyroid is a small butterfly shaped organ in the neck so it's like right here it's a butterfly shaped organ it's actually in front of your trachea and it's an endocrine organ so what does that mean it actually is one of the organs that helps uh control your metabolism yeah. and your but metabolism is a way that your body actually uses the energy that it consumes from food so you all the parts of your body all the cells um, that function in your body need energy and you get that energy usually from food the foods that we eat so exactly. The thyroid is one of the organs that actually controls how the energy is used and how fast your metabolism is or how slow the metabolism is. Yeah. Some people actually compare it to when you have a thermostat in the house and it controls how the rate at which you run or slow down or move. So it's, it's a very important organ that many people are not aware that the way they act and the speed at which they do things, is that there's an organ in the body that actually controls that speed. And that is the thyroid. How interesting. Yeah, that is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, like okay. so, yeah. And like you, you said, and like you said, uh, it's in the neck. It's people don't feel it. You don't know it's there unless it get big. Uh, and it's, just like the size of two inches length it's it, you hardly feel it unless you have a problem with it that's right but when you have a problem with it uh you usually know because you feel <laughs> you feel very different and a lot of yes. times though when you feel tired or um or too energetic um it could be a sign of thyroid disease, but there are many other things that can cause those symptoms. So a lot mm -hmm. of times people don't identify thyroid disease initially because yeah. they don't associate yeah. their feelings with that. But it definitely is a very important organ that can affect your body in significant ways. Yeah, absolutely. And it performs, uh, it produces some hormones in the body. And most so, uh, these hormones are the thyroxine, the T4, uh, the mm -hmm. triiodotyronine, the T3, mm -hmm. reverse T3, mm -hmm. and calcitonin. Mm -hmm. And these hormones are the one that actually performs the function. And uh, as we endocrinologists, what we do to know if you have any thyroid problem is to check your these hormones. C3, C4, and see if it is high or low and see in what direction it's going. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm glad you mentioned that because one interesting thing in the body is that we have those thyroid hormone receptors in mm -hmm. all the different organs of our body. So there, the thyroid hormone that's released, that T3 and T4, goes to specific organs in the body mm -hmm. where it has its effect. Yes. So it may go to the heart and speed up the heart rate. It may go to the muscle and mm -hmm. help increase the metabolism of the muscle. So, you know, it has its effect in different organs of our body, throughout yeah. our body, not just one particular area. So the thyroid, you know, endocrine organs are very important because they have effects in more than one part of the body. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the substances produced by this thyroid that helps in production of this thyroid hormone is iodine. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I was, I was actually thinking about that too, about mm -hmm. mentioning that, you yeah. know, and then uh, people always ask me, actually, I had a patient this week that said mm -hmm. that had a thyroid um, abnormality and said, you know, what can I do to control my thyroid? You know, so some people might think, oh, because iodine is a building block in the thyroid, that yeah. they should take more iodine mm -hmm. or that they should take less iodine. But I tell people, you actually need the, a normal amount of iodine. If you actually take too much, it could be dangerous for you. It can, yes. if you have an overactive thyroid, it can speed it up even more. But if you take too little, it can also be harmful because you actually need iodine to help build up. Uh, the thyroid hormones. So a normal amount of iodine in your diet 
is exactly what you need to help your thyroid function. Yeah. Normally. And uh, most places where we can find these iodines, we recommend in the salts that we take should be iodized salt, but not too much of right. it, as you mentioned, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And foods that are very high in iodine are seafoods. So yeah. if you have like a pure seafood diet, like you eat seafood every single day, mm -hmm. you may be having a high amount of iodine. So that's yeah. something to be aware of. So kind of try to have a more balanced diet with mm -hmm. a moderate amount of iodine. You know, and, and since we mentioned that there are yeah. places that actually have iodine deficiency throughout the world. So if you live in a country or a region that has iodine deficiency, mm -hmm. then uh, you can actually develop a thyroid, a thyroid goiter, maybe a growth in the, the thyroid gland becomes large, or you, you may be more prone to develop hyper or hypothyroidism. Yeah. And uh, we actually see that, I've seen that most times um, during my medical school, where people come in with very huge goiter, their neck is huge, and at the end, the problem is just the, the iodine deficiency. Mm. And then, yeah. oh, uh, but around this side of the country, people take a lot of supplements just to make them have enough nutrients. And they can, in essence, take more necessary iodine. And people That's should be right. careful in that regard as well. Uh, exactly. Too much or too little can be harmful. That's right. Yeah. So it's advisable to not just decide to put iodine as your supplement, but just take your regular food and iodized salt or your regular seafood and not too much of, of all these things. Yeah. yeah. And you know, also uh, uh, another important thing too is a pregnant woman just should make sure your multivitamin has some iodine in it. Yeah. Um, so that's just, that's also needed for uh, your thyroid and for the, the development of your, your unborn child or fetus their thyroid as well so having iodine as part of your multivitamin as part mm -hmm. of your diet during yeah. pregnancy is also very important again not too much or not too little yeah and when these uh, hormones are too much uh we call them the overactive thyroid and when they are too yeah. low we say they are underactive and uh, some people can even develop nodules in the thyroid and uh, right. which we could talk about subsequent in subsequent series to see you know what are these problem problem that people can acquire from thyroid and uh, some people acquire it uh, congenitally like why born from their parents they have something called congenital thyroid I, I put thyroidism as well okay That's so the, just to quickly run through the basic function as you've mentioned and had it i'll try to remember it by going from head to toe by right? saying if you have any problem with the thyroid it can affect your sleep you sleep too much or you can't just sleep and uh if it can affect your mood you can be depressed when it's too slow or you can just be anxious for nothing every time you are just very anxious so this can be a sign of thyro uh, thyroid problem as well and uh, you can just notice your eyes getting bigger or your eyes is bulging out. Mm -hmm. These are also signs of thyroid problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. if it affects your heart, you, you feel palpitation or it just feels very mm -hmm. slow, like very bratty. And you can be gaining weight no matter how you try to eat less and you just realize your weight is going up. Or you can just be losing weight no matter how much you try mm. to eat. You're not gaining the weight. It's just, you're just losing it. Or you can't control your temperature. You're very cold when everybody's hot or you're very hot when everybody's cold and all those stuff, you know. And, that's uh, right. That's it's good. So, and we're going to talk more specifically about those that, because some of those symptoms are associated with an overactive thyroid, yeah. too much thyroid yeah. hormone, uh, which increases your metabolism. So it makes everything go faster mm -hmm. and the underactive thyroid, which decreases your metabolism and make everything go slower. So, um, also you know, you just overall fatigue, just feeling tired yes. all yeah, just, the time mm -hmm. can be associated with thyroid disease as well. Yeah. And some skin problems. So like dry skin uh, is associated with underactive, not enough mm -hmm. thyroid or moist skin, like you're sweating all the time profusely. It can be associated with the overactive thyroid as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are some of the symptoms associated with thyroid disease. 
yeah so if you have not subscribed to this channel this is ask endocrinology i'm dr grace and he, with me is dr hope so yes. hi we Thank yeah you. we will continue with this series of thyroid uh share and click on the like button and send your comment below and the subsequent series will be dealing more with what is hyperthyroidism what is hypothyroidism what is goiter what is thyroid nodule and also what what are the problems that one can encounter with thyroid cancer see you thank see you for joining us